And imagine waiting for an 11 year old boy, your 11 year old boy, to get dropped off by his school bus only to get a call from police that your kid was actually stranded miles from home. That's what happened to one West Toledo father and his son yesterday. Our Michael Sandlin's live in Point Place tonight. And Michael, I understand this spot where you are right now, that's where the boy's dad found him? Yeah, that's right, Jeff. He was found right here on the intersection of Souter and Lehman in Point Place, over six miles away from his family's apartment in West Toledo. Now, while there's two different stories for why the kids were forced off the bus, what is clear is that the bus driver did drive away, leaving the kids here unsupervised for well over half an hour, leaving them scared and their parents upset. Anything could have happened. He could have been kidnapped, could have got hit by a car. This is not a bus stop. It's a regular road, but it's where 11 year old Matthew Iser Jr. and three other kids found themselves at the end of their first day of school. While Matthew was too shy to talk on camera, he explained to his father, Matthew Iser Sr., how he ended up there, saying it started with kids cussing on the bus ride home and the bus driver getting more and more frustrated, threatening to throw them off the side of the highway if they didn't stop. So Matthew told me then they started to be quiet for a little bit and then next thing you know they started cussing again and I guess that's where they were on Suter and L Lumen and he kicked them off the bus. Leaving the kids in the middle of the street unsupervised and according to Matthew driving away without another word. The only tool Matthew had was a cell phone with no data that he uses strictly for games so he couldn't call his dad but he could call 911, leading to one very upsetting message from TPD. I asked the dispatcher, I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, he's supposed to be riding the bus home. Matthew Sr. dropped everything and went to go pick up his son, finding him deeply upset by the whole experience. Looking for answers, Matthew Sr. called his son's school the LEAP program, which said it was the first they were hearing of the incident, and TLC Transit, the busing company that drives the kids. And all they told me is they would watch the video surveillance when the driver got back, and they would call me back. Well, they still haven't called him, so that's why I decided to go to TLC Transit myself. Before I could stroll in, I was greeted by the owner, John Elston, who told me he's seen the video and he says it shows a very different side of the story. According to him, the kids weren't just cussing, they were saying slurs. And the kids weren't forced out of the bus, they let themselves out. But to be clear, WTOL 11 has not been shown the video. Elson said right now the incident is being analyzed by TLC and Washington Local, the host school for LEAP students. But Matthew Sr. says no matter what, the bus driver had his son's life in his hands. I want to press charges and I want to sue this company because this ain't right. At 3.30 today, Washington Local Schools held a meeting with TLC Transit. I received a statement from Washington Local's communications director. She says, in part, we're investigating what happened and we'll be following up with our service provider to ensure student safety protocols are always followed. Reporting in Point Place, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL. 11.